Tough coach, can you just comment on tonight's practice? Yeah, I uh, had a solid practice tonight, um, you know, preparing for South Carolina and the different things they do and the different challenges they present. Uh, our guys were uh, very upbeat. Uh, they had good energy in practice, and overall, I thought it was a solid practice. Gus, what are some of the things that South Carolina you know, some of those challenges they present? Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of speed. You know, they have just about everybody back from last year's defense, and you can tell they're a year older, and uh, they really play hard. They're extremely well coached. Uh, they're very good at what they do. And uh, they've got some different maker type players up front and uh, some very good players in the back end as well. Facing an athletic front four like they've got guys that can run around and make things happen, how much more difficult does it make it on an offense trying to kind of spread you out? Yeah, you know, in this league up front, a lot of times wins uh, and loses games, and they've got, you know, a very good front. Um, some of the same guys that, you know, we, we faced last year twice. And, and they throw in the young kid, and he can really play. He's very athletic, and, and his motor runs very high. Talk a little bit about Quan. His opportunity this week to step into play more. Yeah, uh, he's got a great opportunity, and uh, you know he was he was really excited today in practice, and uh, was really locked in. And uh, he's got some playmaking ability. Uh, he just needs experience, and uh, he's going to get it this game. Much of the health in that you've been able to get him involved a little bit, at least in the Wildcat, to kind of get some of those butterflies. You know, I think anything like that helps. He's actually been on the field in the heat of the battle, ball security. You know, you're always concerned about young guys, but he's done a solid job with that. Uh, and he's a competitor. You know, I uh, really don't think the moment's too big for him like it is some, you know, freshman. And uh, he's got a chance to be a very good player. Can you talk about Kyle's play in the Wildcat mm -hmm. and, and maybe see that? Increasing a little bit. Yeah, I think so. You know, he's he's impressed us and uh, really handled himself well. We really ran the ball inside uh, well last week and uh, protected the football. Um, you know, he's a real calm kid, and we're just trying to expand his package each week and uh, you know add to it. But but so far so good with him, and you know he's got a chance to help us. The fact that he's a legitimate passing threat in that. Offense does that open it up a little bit? Well, I think so. He can he can throw it. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. We just got to be you know selective on uh, what we feel like that he's ready to do, and uh, you know each week you know that expands more and more, and uh, we're getting where we can really trust him. Because as far as the screens go, I'm sure they're not as productive as you'd like for them to be. What do you think of the reasons behind that? Uh, well, you know you got to have him rush the passer uh, for one, and. Uh, you know, they caught us the other night and they dropped eight and they thought when we thought they were coming they did a good job disguising um, at the same time you know we just we gotta we gotta be better you know on the perimeter at times and we gotta be better with our timing uh, with our quarterback and the guys catching it so I think it's a little bit of everything but screens are a big part of what we do and, and we got to be better at them you think defenses are starting to cater a little bit to that kind of cheating over to that side uh which one you do? Uh, just the screens in general. When you go doubles or trips, mm -hmm. and they cheat over that way. Is that something you notice? Something well, I hope so. I hope, yeah, I hope so. That's what we're supposed to do. You know, see if they got too many over there, and if we throw into a number, that's that's uh, that's on me. Okay. Is Emory like, still improving as a wide receiver? Oh yeah, there's no doubt. You know, Emory's one of those guys that you know he's been in the heat of the battle in big moments, and we know how he's going to respond and. I feel like he's getting better, you know, each each game. Kind of going into pace a little bit. I know your your stated goal is 80 a game, and you're probably not getting very close to that. Does it bother you at all? Is that something that? that well, that's a goal of ours, you know, and, and we do have high expectations, and uh, you know, sometimes the game dictates, uh, you know, a lower number than that. But kind of like I said last week, the bottom line is we got to find a way to make more first downs. Uh, we have, uh, you know, third down has been a big focus for us and we improved somewhat last week uh, but we got to keep improving on third down so we can stay on the field to develop that pace and uh, get those first downs and you know, we get first downs we feel like that's an advantage for us with our pace and uh, there's a reason to get more of them. How important is it getting Lutz back out there Bob? Well he, he's very important. You know, his position we asked him to do a lot of things you know last week we had three different guys try to try to play his one position so that tells you how valuable he is to us. Um, he's like a coach on the field, and that position is really like a quarterback in a way with a lot of things that we ask him to do, and uh, he's very valuable to us.
we've asked you about this last week, or I did, about Dyer getting more carries. Mm -hmm. um, is he a guy that you see, and you haven't seen him get a lot of times where he gets mm -hmm. 20 or more, but can you see how effective he is yeah. in getting a lot? Yeah, I think so. And at the same time, we hadn't had the number of plays like, like we talked about earlier. So the more plays we have, the more touches he'll have. And uh, so, uh, but he is definitely a factor and uh, definitely a strength. When you're in a game where the, on your defense, I mean, Ted's guys are giving up third downs and they're on the field longer, does it change how you, the kind of plays you call? Does it affect how you look at it? No, not really. Uh, we, we've got our mindset and we've got our plays that we have to execute. And uh, bottom line is we got to execute better than we did last week. And uh, we know that and our offense guys and coaches know that. And so we just got to do a better job on our end. We can't control anything else other than what we do. And we didn't, we didn't get it done last week. Uh, for, as far as our expectations are offensively. So G, G would never come to you and say, we got to hold the ball for a little while here. Well, I, I think no matter what, to win the game, you got to do whatever gives your team the best chance of winning. And a lot of times it's common sense. Uh, you know, on both sides, you got to do whatever to help your team win. Just watching film from last week, I mean, you feel like it was kind of a one-week aberration or, you know, not executing, like you said, or did you see anything kind of more symptomatic, more troubling? Well, there was a couple of critical mistakes. You know, we, we broke down in protection, uh, you know, a couple of times that was pretty discouraging uh, that we've got to correct. Um, and then there was a couple of point of attack breakdowns that makes everything look ugly. Um, so, you know, those things we're really focusing on and trying to correct. Mm -hmm. yes. Gus, one thing. Jeff said last from his day that he anticipated playing some, some you guys on the offensive line in that game Saturday. And I don't think he played anybody except Blake and Tidehead. Is there any thought about looking at some other guys on the offensive line? Uh, you know, we're, we're evaluating all the young guys, and when they're ready to play, you know, we'll, we'll definitely uh, put them in there. You know, Chad Slade did, did play for uh, John Sullen. Right. You know, and then, of course, Blake got in there too. So, um, you know, we're just to a point where we got to feel very comfortable and confident uh, when we put it, put them in. But I'll tell you this: we're still evaluating them. They're still getting reps in practice. Yeah, speaking of Blake, just because he brought it up, what do you see out of him? What do you expect to see his role? Burgess. Yeah. 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 Uh, just utilizing him um, in any role we can. He's a solid player and uh, has some skills that can help us. Now, on your list, is he a backup? Is he a blocking tight end or is he a backup center? I mean, what do you think? He's both. 